What's going on, Buttercup the Kid here coming at you again with another video today. We're actually going to be talking ETH proof of work. Didn't really think we'd be making a video about this one, but it's turning out to be quite the hot topic, and I'm kind of noticing something that I'm not sure uh, a lot of other people are noticing because of the fact that I do own cryptocurrencies across multiple exchanges. So what I'm seeing is just kind of a different, different user experience, specifically between FDX Binance and Bybit. They're all on the same side, and Coinbase seems to be the odd one out, and that's kind of where there's a lot of sketchy dealings going on. So for those of you that have Coinbase or are just curious about um, the topic, basically Coinbase has always kind of been known for kind of taking a little off the top when it comes to staking yields, things like that. Um, and a lot of people have said, hey, Coinbase is kind of being unfair. They're going to go ahead and delegate the coins that I own, um, and then they're going to be earning a profit from that, um, not really giving me what is what I'm truly owed. Um, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, with some of this, it was explainable because let's say that you didn't actually want to go through the headache of staking your coins or you didn't really understand how to do so. They would just kind of do that for you. And then as a result of their efforts, um, you, they would kind of take a small percentage of it. Um, and I think that was kind of an OK deal. But now what's going on is they're actually going to go ahead and essentially just kind of steal um, all of the all of the ETH airdrop that was supposed to be meant for you because you technically do own um, these coins. But Coinbase is going to go ahead and say, no, 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 like they're on our exchange, so therefore we own them. But the funny thing is, if you want to go ahead um, to Coinbase and see what they're actually going to claim, they're going to claim that they only own about 90,000 Ethereum when it comes to um, tax time. And when they have to, uh, since they're a publicly owned, publicly traded company, they have to kind of state their balance sheet. They're going to go ahead and say, oh, no, no, we only own 9,000 Bitcoins. We only own 90,000 Ethereum. Um, and our users are the ones that own uh, the rest of it. We don't actually own that, but then we can actually go ahead um, and we can stake this for them. We can delegate it for them, and we can actually go ahead and just steal their um, airdrops if we so please. So I think it's really funny how they how they kind of go ahead and play both sides of it. Oh no no we don't own, we don't own Ethereum, but then oh no yeah now we own now we own those Ethereum because we can go ahead and kind of just take um, all these uh, proof of work ETH that are technically supposed to be meant for the owners, right? Um, so that's kind of just like a funny thing how they're trying to play both sides there. And it's really sketchy, uh, in my opinion, because, I mean, if we look at FTX and Bybit immediately, days ago, they had already figured this out um, because they're trying to maximize their user experience. On my FTX account, they just, boom, added they added trading support um, for ETH proof of work. I go ahead and tr sell it, trade it, do whatever. I'm already earning interest on the ETH proof of work. Another reason why I just love FTX over Coinbase. Um, but, yeah, now even Binance is saying, oh, hey, we're seeing what uh, we're seeing what FTX is doing. We're seeing what Bybit's doing. We're gonna go ahead and jump on the train too. Um, go ahead and at least add um, some sort of support for ETH proof of work. So now I'm gonna go over to some kind of somewhat disorganized notes here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, just to kind of guide what like the, my talking points for this video. So we've already gone over the first point. Um, second point: users are entitled to their funds. And now getting into some actual specific numbers, uh, we can see that Coinbase has made made up basically around 15% of staked ETH at the time of airdrop. Um, Coinbase only claims to own 90,000 ETH. Um, AKA Coinbase received roughly 2.2 million ETH from just what we know is staked, uh, which is around 13.8 million at current prices. Uh, Goldman Sachs, however, is predicting that the amount of Ethereum and Coinbase um, that was staked is only around 20 to 40 percent. So if we go ahead and project those numbers to say, okay, how much Ethereum is actually held on the Coinbase platform, it's likely closer to a figure of 5.5 million to 11 million, um, which would obviously all be airdropped to this ETH work, um, this ETH proof of work. So that's going to end up being a figure of 34.65 million to 69.3 million that Coinbase is essentially stealing. Remember, we said uh, we said that Coinbase only claims to own 90,000 Ethereum. So how on earth are they going to go ahead and benefit from 5.5 to 11 million Ethereum when they only own 90,000 um, if they truly do not own it? So this is the number that they're currently getting. And who knows if they're selling that? Who knows what they're doing with that? Um, all we know is that this is money that users could be cashing in on right now or doing whatever they want to do with. Um, at the very least, for Coinbase not to add some sort of of um, feature to, I mean, I guess one of my suggestions would be that Coinbase users should, should be entitled to USDC amounts of the airdropped ETH. If they could say, hey, Coinbase, um, go ahead and just sell my ETH proof of work um, since you guys aren't going to support it and give me the equivalent in USDC. Obviously, take some 
um, off the top for the handling fees of it. Just sell at current prices because what's going on is the price is just falling rapidly. You know, and Coinbase users, had they had the opportunity, could have already cashed in um, at much higher prices. So let's say they could have cashed in at fifty dollars before, um, and now it's worth under six dollars. So who knows what it's going to be in the future? But this is all missed profits that people could have made off of off of the ETH that they own. So. I mean, for me, as someone that does have a significant amount of ETH on Coinbase, this is frustrating. I mean, I just missed out on a ton of money um, that I could have made, you know, had I, had I just sold my ETH proof of work at the top there. So definitely pretty frustrating. Um, like we just said, ETH price is going to fluctuate massively. Uh, Coinbase users no longer harbor the opportunity to sell at these high prices. Who knows how long they're going to stay. Now, in defense of Coinbase, uh, selling all this Ethereum wrapped, you know, well over 2.2 million, likely around, like we said, around these figures, um, would definitely crash the price. So, this method that I talked about, maybe allowing users to go ahead and have Coinbase just sell their wrapped ETH on the market for them, um, would be tough. I mean, the prices would obviously nosedive there, so that might not be the best solution. Um, the other part is that Coinbase has stated that they don't want to support um, ETH proof of work. Uh, they've said it here. Reminder: Coinbase will exclusively support the upgraded ETH proof of stake chain um, for CB ETH. Um, but the weird part is, if we remember, on August 20, 26th, uh, Coinbase said that it's going to evaluate any potential fork. So this is weird that they're kind of taking a definitive. We will not support its stance when they did say that they were going to at least evaluate um, some of these other forks. So I wish they would have kind of clarified that. Hey, maybe we will um, support some of the other ones in the future, but they really didn't. So that's definitely sketchy as well. And I think that should almost go to a user vote um, as opposed to Coinbase just kind of saying, hey, hey like this is this is what's going to happen. And you guys have no say in the matter. So just definitely not great from the from the user experience if you understand what's going on. Um, also, the solution that Coinbase will just hold on to the ETH uh, proof of work is hardly practical. I just don't think any ETH, you, any ETH holder on Coinbase would agree with that. So my proposition is going to be that Coinbase allows for sending and receiving of ETH work similarly to how it handles XRP and Luna. Um, this is a little complicated because from my understanding, some of this is just an IOU. Maybe these coins aren't quite transferable yet. Maybe it, um, the ETH proof of work, um, the new ETH proof of work chain doesn't quite work properly yet. Um, so there's obviously something to be said about that. But I will say that for FTX, Bybit, and now Binance to all be able to work it out, I would assume that there's some sort of solution that they've reached that Coinbase could go ahead and copy from there. Um, yeah, so once again, just 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 very strange from Coinbase. and almost has to be expected, unfortunately, um, from that exchange because they always seem to kind of be putting themselves first um, when it comes to when it comes to that exchange. And I also like... And also, I just can't, it doesn't seem like it's unanimous across the board that ETH proof of work isn't going to be at least somewhat of an option. I mean, the, this account has already gained um, some traction with almost 60,000 followers, um, literally growing every single hour. So I really just don't understand um, how Coinbase is going about um, navigating this decision and how they think that there's just absolutely no problem with it. Um, so, I mean, as you can see in the comments, you know, a lot of people are frustrated, Coinbase scam, blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of people wondering... Um, how ETH, how ETHW tokens are going to be distributed, if they're going to be distributed. So I think this is something that a lot of people should um, raise some, some, some concerns over. Um, definitely should, people should put Ethereum, I mean, not Ethereum, people should put Coinbase sort of in their place um, with this. You know, they should be receiving hopefully a lot of angry emails um, judging how they're going to go ahead and um, treat this whole situation here. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Just wanted to post some of those arguments for you guys. See what your thoughts are on the current situation. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do for this one. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.